Hello, traders. This is Dave with the uh, Compass Options Text Alert Service in the in trading room. And tonight we're going to do another uh, SPY Super System of Trade of the Day. I did a video on this and I'm going to show a few more tonight so we can go uh, go over how the SPY Super System works. Uh, I use, do it in the room that I, that I have, the uh, live trading room, uh, five days a week, uh, market open to market close. And it's a, it's a pretty a pretty successful strategy for folks who want to trade uh, either futures or the uh, SPY, the Qs, or the, or the Russell 2000 uh, on quick interday trades. These are fairly quick trades. The room itself, we we focus on uh, on longer intraday trades as well as uh, short-term swing trades. But this is something we use uh, to take care of these uh, short intraday trades on the SPYs, the Qs, and the IWM. So I'm going to go over uh, how we do that and how well we've done with it. All right, so let's get started. Again, this is a super system intraday trading using the uh, the super spy super system. And again, the first thing I have to do is the disclaimer. All signals and trading opportunities we provide here are for educational and demonstration purposes only. Trading is very risky, so you should never trade with more money than you can afford to lose. And neither myself or right line trading or licensed financial advisors. So I won't be giving financial advice. All right, and this is just kind of a, a graphic of what the uh, alert service looks like. We have alert service. I have alert service. I put out alerts on all the high probability trades that we take. Um, and we have a couple of uh, rules we trade by in the room and for the alerts. First thing is we only trade the very best trades and we skip the rest. So we don't, we're not taking lots of trades. We're taking some, only the very best trades. Uh, and the second rule is our objective is not to make trades. Our objective is to make money. So we want to be, we try to be patient and only pick the best trades and we try to pick them at the best possible entry spot. All right, so profitable traders. As profitable retail traders, we need an edge over other retail traders. Our edges in the Compass Room and the Alert Service is I use what's called the Right One Compass System, which I'll, I'll show you, a piece of software that identifies when institutions are in the trades and when they're not. Uh, we trade relative strength and relative weakness. Uh, this doesn't mean the, it doesn't mean RSI. This means uh, stocks that have, uh, uh, are outperforming the SPY either to the upside or the downside. We trade with the market trend if there is one, and we uh, try to buy near support and sell near resistance, so we're not chasing trades. Um, and it's important to understand something uh, when we, before we get into this, is um, uh, what drives the market, what moves the market? Uh, these little marbles here are, are retail traders, uh, we're typically all retail traders, and we as retail traders, we can't move the market. We can't create trends. We can't break trends. All we can do is when we're in there by ourselves, we just create chop and chaos. Uh, this is who moves the market. These are the institutions, institutions being uh, investment banks, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley. Uh, it also in includes uh, hedge funds, hundreds of hedge funds with billions of dollars. It also includes pension funds. And it also includes mutual funds like Vanguard and T. Rowe Price. These are the folks that move the market. Our job as a retail trader is to know when they're doing that and follow them and take money from other retail traders. We're not going to take money from the institutions. We're going to take it from other retail traders who don't have the same information or as good information as we do. Okay. Um, also, uh, we talked about algos have taken over the market. Let's join them. I mean, about 80 to 85 percent of the trades that are made are made by algos. And the algos are operated by uh, the institutions. So that's important to understand that when the algos are, are trading, we want to be able to identify the, the algos when they're trading, which is when the institutions are pushing the trade. And uh, the algos actually try to take money from retail traders by mimicking what retail traders use, like MACD crossovers and RSIs, et cetera. And they'll, they'll actually set up programs to take advantage of those uh, trades by retail traders and take them away. And taking them away from them and what we are what our job is to, is to identify when the institutions and the algos are actually in a trade and when they're not okay uh the compass system we'll talk about briefly here it's a, it's a piece of software that i run on my thinkorswim platform um, i actually don't trade on thinkorswim i trade on tradier but i i put the compass system on thinkorswim and it, it identifies the highest probability trade setups while sidestepping uh, setups that look good but will not fail They'll fail more than they succeed. And we do this by identifying when the institutions are in the trade. Uh, obviously, this is what I say here. Uh, it analyzes complex trading data and displays the results in easily identifiable visual format. And the visual elements make it possible for even new traders 
uh, to find high probability trade setups. And I'll show you this in regards to how we do it, use it, use it for the SPY super system. Okay, so the indicators we're going to use for the SPY super system, we're going to be trading this SPY, the Qs, and the IWM, the Russell 2000. Uh, we're going to be using what's called current time frame momentum. This is one of the in the one of the indicators on the compass system. Current time frame momentum. We're going to be looking for color changes. That's how it identifies going from buying to selling and selling to buying by institutions. We're also going to be using the VWAP. This is a, a very important support and resistance level. Uh, when the price is above the VWAP for longs and price below the VWAP for shorts, uh, institutions all use this VWAP for uh, buying and selling. So it's important we know about that. And, and trade around it. And we also use the 15 EMA of an EMA. This is a smooth EMA. Uh, uh, this is another support resistance level that we can be used, that can be used to get into trades uh, and get out of trades. And also you'll see there's a pivot point. It's a white line that shows up on the uh, on the compass system that tells us when we're at a support, support and resistance level. This is really important. So these are the indicators we actually use to, for using, for doing this by super system. Um, now, momentum, which I just mentioned, is the current time frame momentum is critical. Momentum is critical in determining if institutions are in the trade. This is one of the major um, ways to tell if institutions are in them. And many traders uh, misunderstand what constitutes momentum. And so what is momentum really? A lot of people think it's, it's just because the stock is moving up, uh, you know, with green candles that, it, that it's got momentum. Uh, it's like when you step on the gas in a car and it takes off, that's momentum. But that's really not what way momentum is measured if you want to know if the institutions are in the trade. This is the way we measure momentum. Uh, this is basically a graphic of, uh, of, of bullish momentum and bearish momentum. These are candlesticks here. And what we've got here is the open is the black line and the high is the black line and the close is the blue line. So this, this opened here and closed here after hitting a high up here. The next candle up, you notice we entered, this was the, uh, the entry, this was the high, and this was the close. What we want to see is we want to see the close of, the, of each candle getting closer and closer to the high of the candle, just like that. As the, as the price moves closer and closer to the high of the candle on that candlestick, that shows that we've got momentum. So what we're measuring is that for momentum. And on the downside, it's exactly the opposite. You can see the, the close of the of the candle gets closer and closer to the low of the candle. That's that's bearish uh, momentum. Right. so this is this is what we're actually measuring when we measure momentum. Just so you understand what when I talk about the current time frame momentum, what we're actually measuring. So the criteria for doing the SPY super system, what the correct setup is, what we typically do is we're going to trade the strongest index on an up day and the weakest index on a down day. So we look at what, between the SPIs, the Qs, and IWM, uh, which one is, is the strongest, which one is the weakest. And that's the one we're, we're initially going to try to trade. I mean, there are other things we have to take into consideration. For example, how close is the next resistance level or how close is the next support level. But to, we're going to start by looking at the SPIs, Qs, and IWM. We want to see which one is up the most percentage or which one is down the most percentage. And we want to go with the strongest or weakest. Um, what we're going to do is enter the trade when the current momentum indicator changes from red or yellow, which I'll show you in a minute. The red or yellow is bearish to blue or green, which is bullish. So that indicates that the institutions are going from selling to buying for the current momentum. When that color changes, then that shows us that perhaps we want to take the trade. Obviously, there's other criteria. We're going to enter when the current momentum indicator changes from blue or green to yellow or red for sure. So again, red or yellow to blue or green for a long and from blue or green to red or yellow for short. We're just getting color changes here. Now, if we're going to go long, the index should be up for the day. Generally speaking, if you're going to go long, you, you want to have that index green for the day. If you're going to go short, you want to have that index step be down for the day. Now, there are exceptions to this, and I'll talk about that as we get into this. Uh, and also, if you're going to go long, the stock price should be above the VWAP for long and below the VWAP for short. This is pretty important. All right, so those are the setup criteria that we're going to be looking at. Now, best entry setups. We've got a couple of best entry setups. Again, you've got to trade the strongest index um, uh, on, uh, on an up day and the weakest index on a down day. And if you get a choppy day, then uh, you know any of the indexes would, would likely work when you hit the right criteria for, the, for entering the trade. And again, when the current momentum indicator changes from red or yellow, 
to blue or green for long. That would be another criteria that you can use. And you're going to enter when the current momentum indicator changes from blue to green or yellow, red for short. All right. So this this is I'm just reiterating this so you can see that we're going to go long the index. The long the index should be up for the day to go long, down for the day if you're going to go short. And it should be above the VWAP for long and below the VWAP for, for short. All right. So I just wanted to make sure we understand that. So this is the, the system, the best entry setups. It's not the only set, uh, system setups, but these are the best. For longs, we want to take the strongest bullish index. We want the price to be moving up through the VWAP, coming from below the VWAP, up through the VWAP, or bouncing off the VWAP after a pullback. So the, strong, the stock is bullish, the index is bullish. It comes down to the VWAP, bounces off of it, and moves back into the, uh, into the original trend, which was up. So that's what we want to be getting into, moving up through the VWAP or bouncing off the VWAP. And the current momentum indicator must be blue or green. All right. And it could just change to it on that candle, but it, but it needs to be blue or green. In other words, we want to, when we take the trade, we want to know the institutions are bullish on that index. Um, and also, this is, a, this is a second setup here. This is off the VWAP. This is off the 15 EMA. A lot of times the price will be above the VWAP or below the VWAP. And then you can use the 15 EMA of an EMA or our smooth EMA as a support and resistance level. So the price moving up through the 15 EMA or bouncing out off the 15 EMA after pullback uh, and the current momentum indicated blue or green. Same as the VWAP, but you're, you're taking exactly the same criteria except you're using the 15 EMA in, in, instead of the VWAP. So these are the two strongest uh, bullish setups that you can that you can you can trade for the uh, SPY Super System. Um, the shorts, obviously, you probably can realize that we're going to take the weakest at bearish index. The price should be moving down through the VWAP or bouncing off the VWAP after moving up through it. In other words, it, we're looking bearish. We want to be moving down through the VWAP or moving up to the VWAP and then heading back down again off the VWAP. And the current momentum, momentum indicator must be yellow or red. Right? We want it to be bearish. We want the institutions to be selling. The weakest bearish index um, well, the price could be moving down through the 15 EMA or bouncing off the 15 EMA after a move up. Same as the VWAP, except we're using the 15 EME here. And this will be much clearer when I show you the charts. And the current momentum indicator must be yellow or red for you for your bearish index. All right, so this is this is the, the, the shorts uh, and these are the locks. Okay. All right, so this is this is a, a recent one that we did. Uh, this is the compass system. Okay, now the compass system, the, the things that we're, we, we're key here on is we've got um, a current time, current time frame momentum is right here. This is the indicator that we, that we want to use, the current time frame momentum. Uh, and this is uh, this was is right here, so it's bearish. But this is these are five minute charts. This is a multi time frame momentum, uh, and this is a current time frame momentum. But this is what we're going to use for the spy super system. Well, we use them both when we're going to a, for a swing trade or a longer intraday trade. But for this for the spy super system, we're using the multi time frame, the current time frame momentum right here. All right, so this is the one that we we want to use. It keeps it fairly simple. Now, on this particular trade here, um, this pink line is the VWAP. All right, and this was on the uh, spy. The spy was bearish for the day. Here is a, uh, a the VWAP right here, the pink line, and you can see the price breaking down below it. So this is where we entered it. And we also had this, this pink, uh, this blue arrow right here, which is called the pop out of the box symbol. This is telling us that we're breaking compression. We're breaking out of compression with a, uh, to, with breaking the, the, uh, the uh, VWAP to the downside. So this is what I was talking about. We notice we have, we have yellow and red down here in the current time frame momentum. So institutions are selling. We're coming out of compression and breaking below the VWAP. So with, this is one of our entries. So this is where we get into the trade right here. And we just follow this trade. Now this little thin red line here is called the 15 EMA, all right? There's the VWAP, the 15 EMA. We get in here, we can use the 15 EMA as a stop if we want to win this. So we could use the VWAP, but after it breaks through the 15, we're much closer. So we can use this 15 EMA as a stop. So I entered here and I just followed it down and it stayed red. Notice that the, uh, the momentum indicator current momentum is telling me the institutions are selling it so i was relatively confident that the, it was going to stay short so it kept on going down it kind of followed the 15 down didn't really uh didn't really never closed above it um and then it broke really hard right here uh, to the downside 
Now, this white line is a pivot point. I had to be very cautious when I get to this pivot point uh, to see if it bounced off of there, which, which it didn't. Uh, I, I, I continued down to flush, and it kept on going down. And this is where I get out right here. I exited right here when the, when the momentum lost, and it started to go uh, get some green candles right here. But so this was a nice trade. This was uh, we did this on the 23rd. This was a $280 profit per contract on this, and it was about it looks like about 15 candles, so about 45 minutes or so um, on, on that trade. All right, so that's that's the spy super system off the compass system. Here, this is a and again we call these out in the room and we talk about them in the room. I have a video in the room on how to actually trade these. But this is for folks who who want to want to take some time and trade during the day, but don't don't have all day to be in, in a trading room. So we find these each day and I'll call them out. And if you know how to do it, you can find them yourself, especially if you have the compass system. Uh, but I have the spy up all day long on the on the charts and I'm, I'm looking for these all day. And I'll show you a couple that we took today. So this was on the 23rd. Uh, this right here was also on the 23rd. This was the second one we took. This was on the IWM. Now IWM right here, we went we went long the IWM. So here's your current time frame momentum right here, and it goes from red to blue. So we're going from selling to to buying on institutions on the IWM. This was where I took the trade. See here's the pink line. That's the VWAP. Notice the price coming com compressing, moving above the VWAP right here. So this was the entering entrance on this particular trade right here, and everything stayed green. I knew the institutions were still buying. So I get in here and I just rode this up, had a little bit of a pullback, but stayed in the trade. It's above the 15 EMA right here and rode it up. And I exited right here as it as it uh, started to reverse back down again. And that was good for $150 per contract on that. Some of the move was fairly small, but it was still a nice, it was still a nice trade. Um, this was one on uh, 8.9. Uh, and this this one I have, they actually have the, uh, just, just to, uh, this is the first one I did to, to show uh, what these in the, what these lines are here's the current time frame momentum right here see this is pointing to it this is what we're using this was our entry on this this was the vwap the pink line notice we're breaking above the vwap right here now see the current time frame momentum you notice how it went from red to blue red to blue selling buying buying and also breaking up through the vwap this right right perfect combination right here so this was a perfect place to take this trade um and it broke above the VWAP, and so we get it in right here, and we rode this up, and it moved up really, really nicely, uh, and then we get out right here. As we got it, we started getting uh, wicks and tails here. Uh, we're getting a little bit extended away from the 15 EMA, quite a ways above the VWAP, and we took profits. This was $220 of a contract profit on the SPY Super System. So you can see how, uh, if you have the compass system, or you're in the room, you, you, if we can find these uh, pretty easily, and, and it's it's very important to understand that you know the, what the market's doing has a lot to do with how, how long we hold these and how well they do because if you got a really choppy market some of these trades could be really really quick uh you know three or four candles if that so uh, but this particular day was it was trending pretty nicely so uh, so again here's your current time frame momentum this is a key this is your vwap this is a key this is your 15 ema this is a key that's that's basically what you need to use to find these uh, spy super system trades on any one of the indexes um, so this is kind of the results I've had. I, I've been doing this for a long time, but I really just started uh, going over it in the room recently because the room was, we didn't really do a lot of scalping or quick trades, but a lot of people had come into the room, wanted to be able to be in there for like an hour, an hour and a half, two hours and, and not have to stay all day. And they'd like to trade this. They wanted to trade the indexes. Um, so I, I went ahead and put together the SPY super system because this is what I've been using. So in July, I started, uh, I started doing this in the room and, and, and pointing them out. We did, we were 16 and 0, um, 2,000 invested in each trade produced 2,596 bucks, not a lot of trades. Uh, in August, and this doesn't include today, I'll show you something we did today. Uh, August, the super system results we had with 49 wins, five, lo uh, five uh, losses and two scratches. Pretty good, re pretty good track record here. So 2,000 invested in each trade so far this month produced $7,516 in profits. And remember, these are quick relatively quick trades because with the spy super system you only have one trade on at a time and they're going to be fairly short duration so you can manage them pretty quickly you don't have to hang around all day uh, and this is a pretty this is pretty strong uh, results but again you, you've got to be patient and wait for these setups to uh, to occur and I'll, I'll show you some more from ones we did today 
uh, as well. This is this is some uh, in the past, just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. Um, there's the VWAP. This is something you're always going to want to see. Here's the VWAP. Here's the current time frame momentum. Switches from red to blue. That means the institutions went from selling to buying. Right? You don't know how long it's going to last, but they're buying and it broke through the VWAP. So this is where I get into the trade right here on this break above the VWAP. And I took it up and five candles and then out. Not a big profit, but a, but a decent run right here. Some of these runs can be pretty nice, but that was a nice run. Again, current time frame momentum went from bearish to bullish. We had a break out of the box compression signal right here, and it broke above the VWAP right here, and I took it right there. And just, just bought some calls and, uh, and get up. Um, this is another one on the IWM. Again, the, uh, trying to uh, emphasize these setups and how easy they are to find. Because uh, here's the VWAP. So we're waiting to see what the what the IWM does here. It broke down below the VWAP. What's the uh, what's the what current time frame momentum look like? Well, it's still green right here on this candle. But then it went to yellow on this candle as we broke through the VWAP. It went to yellow. So we went from buying to selling. This was the entry for it right here. And it was right down. You could have waited for it to break the 15 if you wanted to, but I took it off of the break through the VWAP. It comes down. It flushes down right here to uh, what this this. Uh, or a little orange line here. That's the standard deviation line, and I took profits right there. That's that was a short trade, but again, these things can be good for thirty, forty, fifty dollars a contract um, on little bitty moves like that. And again, you notice we went to, we went to from buying to selling, and it stayed selling all all the way over to uh, the candle right over here. But again, I get out when I get down near this uh, this um, standard deviation line. All right, here's another IWM trade. Um, take, take, take a look at what do you see here. See if you can see where you can where you can find this trade. Um, we, we're buying all day. Obviously, the multi time frame momentum was was green all day. But where am I going to take the trade? Well, I want to I want to be close to either VWAP or I want to be close to the 15. So here it is compressing along the 15 right here. This little thin line. It's compressing along the 15. It's green right here, and this is where I get a pop. Out of compression, pop out of the box symbol, coming out of compression above the 15. This is where we you went into the trade right there. It's the perfect entry. You just make sure that it stays above the 15. You stay in the trade until you see it to start to lose momentum. Uh, so you could have get out right here if you wanted to, or you could have waited up here, but you you would have made some decent money on that little trade. It would you wouldn't have been in it a long time. Uh, this was the this is a, another spy trade here. Um, you can see here that. The VWAP is right here. It's in this, it breaks through it right here on this candlestick. And it was already red, so we knew there was selling going on. So you could actually sell it right here, and then you just write it down for three candles and you get out. In other words, a fairly short trade. Now, if you wanted to trade this to the long side, and, and when I said before that, that there's there are times when you can counter trend trade, where you can take a stock, uh, an index that's actually uh, red for the day and, and trade it long if the conditions are right. Well, this would be a, con a situation where the conditions were right because it's breaking up through the VWAP right here and you, and you went from selling to buying. And it's breaking through the VWAP to the upside. So you could take it right here and ride this thing up. Now, this line right here is a pivot point. So this becomes a resistant level that you have to be aware of. So if you're in this trade, when you start to see momentum start to wane, like here or here, you could take profits. Uh, because it's likely to, to turn around and head back down once it gets through this pivot point. Uh, so I, in this particular trade, I took it right here as it went blue. See this? Current time frame momentum went to, went to buying, breaking above the VWAP in the 15, into here, and I actually get out right here. Uh, it stayed green, but I, I was getting too close to the to the pivot point, so I wanted to take profits. All right, so that, that's that's kind of a, a, a where you can actually counter trend trade. You can go long. On a stock on an index is short for the day if you've got enough runway between the break of the VWAP or the break of the 15 to the next resistance level, as long as your current time frame momentum is telling you that the institutions are buying in here for that particular time frame. All right. Um, this was the spy uh, to the downside here. Uh, again, you can see that uh, we're, we've got the VWAP way up here, so we're we're focusing on the 15 right here, and we went from green buying to red uh, to yellow selling right there. And we break below the 15 right there with a pop out of the box. This is where you take the trade, right there. It's yellow. The selling's going on. It continues to say, say yellow. You're coming through off the 15 EMA right here. 
So you want to stay in this trade as long as this price stays below the 15. That, uh, that never closes above the 15. So you just ride this down, and then you get a nice flush right here, and then you get out right here. Just right here as, as it starts to reverse. Uh, it's still selling, but you got a, you got a nice little run out of that. But the 15 became your key here, and it went from buying green to selling yellow. Hope this is clear. What what how easy this is to identify these setups. Um, if you do them, but you know obviously they're fairly if they can be fairly quick, and you've got to keep watching your levels. But uh, you know this was a nice little trade. All right, and this was a, a nice little spy trade here. All right, so here we are. We're below the VWAP. Um, this is the VWAP right here. Uh, we go to we go to buying right here. Now I'm not going to take anything right here because we're, we're below the VWAP and too close to the VWAP. So I'm waiting for an entry above the VWAP when I've got it when I've got multi time frame current time frame momentum uh, bullish. So it turned to bullish here and it stays bullish. But my entry is right here. As it breaks above the 15 and above the VWAP right here, this is where I take this trade. All right, I'm not going to take it below the VWAP because there's too much likelihood that it's going to find resistance here. So this is where I take it. And then and I take a small, just a small profit on this. It ticks up about four or five candles, just small candles. And then as soon as it starts to lose momentum, I would get out. Not going to make a lot of a trade like that, but you're going to make a little bit of money, probably 20 to $30 a, uh, a contract. All right. But again, everything is buying, but you're waiting for it to break this VWAP. All right. Um, now, one thing I want to do here, I don't know why that did that. That's kind of weird. I want to, uh, I want to look at the, the uh, live charts. Uh, today, let me move this out of the way. All right, this is so. This is the cues today, um, and I took two two trades on the cues today, um, and I'll show you where I took them. All right, so this was the first one. All right, so here's the cues. They were red for the day. They're coming down. Now here's the current time frame momentum. This was around 10:30. You notice right here, about 10:40, it went to we're selling. It went from red to yellow. So the institutions are buying. They're selling. See how it's breaking below the VWAP right here. With a pop out of the box symbol below the VWAP, I took it right here on this candlestick and I wrote it down and I get out. I probably get out. I, I didn't stay in this the whole way down. I think I probably took it off on this this red candle here because I was a, a pretty decent money on this thing. Uh, so uh, it, it was it was really a, a pretty nice trade. It was it was good for about about a, a hundred dollars a contract just on that short run. Uh, and 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 then I took another one later in the day. I was and again you've got to wait for these setups. But this was the setup I took later in the day. Here, here is the uh, again the cues is short. See how they're coming along the 15. They're just compressing. We're we're selling. And so we got current time frame momentum is selling right here. It's selling off. So it goes to yellow, and then it goes to red. But I'm waiting for a break. I'm waiting for a break. And see this pop out of the box or the break out of compression below the 15. And everything and we've got everything red here in the current time frame momentum. This is your entry right here. You take it right here. You ride this down, and as soon as you start to see momentum start to wane, like here, you take the trade off. And this was pretty good. This was good for actually it was a pretty good drop. It was good for about $120 a contract on this on this drop because that was a pretty big flush. But that was that was the, the two trades I took today. So you can see them. This is what I wait for them. This was a beautiful one right here. Buying to selling, breaking below the VWAP, breaking below the 15, ride it down to here and get out. And this was a this was a, another short right here. I only took shorts today uh, on the on the queues, so I took those. So those are the two trades I took today, which uh, I think moves me up this month to um, uh, 40, 51, and, and five or something like that. But the, but that that's what we did on this. So that's the that's the kind of uh, that's the kind of success we had doing this uh, today. So this was a, this was a, a live chat of of what we did today, just so you can see that. So I hope that I hope that helps helps you find these uh, these high probability trade setups. Um, on, on the uh, using the compass system um, and I won't go back to the beginning of this thing but anyway that's that's what this will do uh, if you're in the room if you join the room uh, we do we do these all day long when we when we can find them we, we call them out and I've got a lot of people trading them now because when you get choppy days especially August has been terrible um, you don't we don't really have a lot of long-term trades on um, but we uh, but we do have uh, by super system trades that we can take and usually we'll, we'll take two to three today sometimes four uh, and some days maybe only one sometimes it just depends on what the market's doing but again we've had a really good success with this as uh as i showed you here um on the uh, on the results that we've had where they go boop, 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 boop. Yeah, i don't know where it went now but the uh 
there's a little over seven thousand bucks this month. Uh, yeah, right here, seventy five hundred. So yeah, I'm fifty now. I'm fifty one five and two uh, on, on on this uh, system. So a, the win rate's very high, um, especially if you if you really be be extremely uh, disciplined as far as your, your entries are concerned. You know, don't want to try to front run. Wait till wait till you get those breaks. All right. So that's uh, I just wanted to wrap that up. Uh, again, thanks everybody for uh, for listening to the webinar. Yeah, if you're interested in the uh, in this the spy super system, come into my room. You can, you can look at the video. I have a video uh, training on this, how to do this. Um, I, I get into a little bit more nuances in the room about counter trend trading, etc. But uh, a lot of the folks in the room are having really good success with this. And again, you you only have one trade on at a time, and it's their short duration, so you're not forced to sit in front of your computer all day. To, to take these trades. So again, thanks very much, everybody. And um, hopefully see you in the room or on the alert service. Have a good one.